Autohive has extensive shipping capabilities. It is connected to leading carriers including USPS, UPS, DHL, FedEx, etc. so you can centralize all your shipping operations. You can check shipping rates, generate, print and download labels as well as track shipping in real time. Before you start shipping using Autohive, a few important things to be noted. First, Autohive offers free USPS account as default to US users along with discounted USPS rates for shipping. Second, ShipStation is considered as a channel in Autohive. Third, the Autohive wallet can be used to pay only the USPS shipping labels and insurance. You can refer to wallet settings for more details. And fourth, make sure you have set shipping settings as per your requirement and that you have added preferred shipping carriers from Autohive integrated carriers. Now let's see how to ship an order with Autohive. Go to the orders tab. Select the confirmed order from to ship. and click on ship you can also double click to open order detail page and then click on ship next comes a verification page wherein you have to select the warehouse from where the order should be fulfilled Then confirm the quantity you want to ship. Order Hive will show you the order quantity in the ship quantity field which can be edited if you need to partially ship the order. You can also scan the product barcodes to verify the quantity to be shipped. Click on scan and verify. Then click on next. In the next window, you will see three possibilities to further your shipping process. One is new shipping label, which is to generate a new shipping label to ship the order via a carrier integrated with Orderhive. Second is existing shipment, which is to add shipping details for already shipped orders. And the third is deliver shipment. Let's go through each one by one. First, let's see how to create a new shipping label. You need to first select the carrier from the drop down. All relevant packages are fetched as per the selected carrier. Select the appropriate one. Enter the total weight of the order products. If you have configured scales in your account, the system will automatically fetch the weight as you put the parcel on the scale. You can refer to printers and scale settings for more details on this. Also add insurance if applicable. Then select the signature that lets you get confirmation of delivery, including date, time and location. Lastly, choose the date you want to ship on. Based on these details selected, the list of services is fetched from the carrier along with the relevant shipping rates. Select the required service. With Orderhive, you can also divide your order into multiple packages to be processed as multi-piece shipment that can be tracked under a master tracking number. Click add more packages if you need to create multi-piece shipment and add relevant details for each package.
Apart from this, there are various options for shipping specifications depending upon the carrier selected like additional handling, delivery by drone, Saturday delivery, hold for pickup, reduce carbon emission and this order is non-machinable. Add from these options as required. Next you will see options for endorsements. Ancillary service endorsements can be used by senders to request receiver's new address and to provide the carrier with instructions on how to handle undeliverable pieces. The endorsements are the same for all classes of packages, but the treatment and cost differ by class of packages. The mailer is required to pay any applicable charges for forwarding, return and separate address notification charges. For some carriers, you will see two more tabs for special rates eligibility which allows you to request restrictive rates from the carrier and for the hazardous material which is commonly referred to as hazmat. Next tab is for INCO terms which stands for international commercial terms that are published by the International Chamber of Commerce relating to international commercial law. INCO terms is a registered trademark of the ICC. There are currently 11 INCO terms in use. Select as required. And lastly add the invoice number if applicable and any other instructions or notes regarding shipment handling. In the last section you can see the estimated delivery date and shipping cost. Shipping cost is the total cost fetched from shipment carrier and the insured value. Lastly, click on done. Thus the order will move to shipped stage on the main orders page. Now let's move to the second option that is existing shipment. This option helps you to keep a track of the orders that have already been sent through any of the shipping carriers or 3PL. Select the carrier from the drop-down. You can also add a custom shipping method if required. Click Add Custom Shipping Method. In the new window, name your custom shipping method and then click on Save. With this, you will see added shipping method in the drop-down on the list of carriers. Then select the ship date. Then enter the tracking number as provided by the carrier. You can add the shipping cost if needed. Lastly, click on Done. These shipment details along with the tracking number would be pushed to your store end for the respective order. And last option is Deliver Shipment. This option is to directly mark the order as delivered or completed. This option is to be used in cases when the shipment is being already handed over to the customer either manually or by any other such means. You need to simply click on Done. The order will move to completed stage. Well, now that we have understood how to process shipping for an individual order, let us also see what happens when we process shipping for orders in bulk. Select orders in bulk and click on ship. In the next page, you will see the shipping date and two more options that are deliver shipment and existing shipment. That means you can either update shipment tracking details or mark orders as shipped.
Apart from this, there are various options for shipping specifications depending upon the carrier selected like additional handling, delivery by drone. To mark orders as shipped, click on deliver shipment. Select the warehouse for each order from where the order has been fulfilled. You can also remove the records of orders if required using the minus or the hyphen button and then click on done. This will move all orders to completed stage. To update tracking details, click on existing shipment. Select the desired carrier for each order or add a custom shipping method if required. After selecting shipping carriers for each order, enter the tracking numbers for each as provided by the carrier. And then select the warehouse you want to ship your orders from. Lastly, click on done. This will move the order to shipped stage on the main orders page and the shipment details will be pushed to your store end for the respective orders. You can also upload the tracking number with help of an excel sheet. We will explain it in another video. So in this video we saw how to process shipping for orders. Hope this was a useful one. But if you have any queries unresolved, you can chat with the Order Hive expert 24 7. Don't forget to subscribe to the Order Hive channel for more videos. Happy selling!